I hear a beep. Waiting for the mob to come out. And over here, dollar store owner sitting on a bucket in the parking lot on the phone. And here, of course, dollar store, I mean, uh, homeowner Martinez's wife. And black car, organized crime family, this must be the focus point, dollar store owner and the two cars. I'm still waiting for the back man, no one in sight. Again, Dallas the owner, very unusual, sitting on a bucket on the phone, parking lot. Same time frame. When the mob comes out. So we see what happens. Something is not right. Again, dollar store owner continues sitting on the bucket outside. Homeowner Martinez Park, same direction as the dollar store owner, just as the black car, same direction. So, I'm still waiting for the bag man, and I'm waiting for the mob. All this is happening at once, same time frame, so something must be going on that I don't know about. We're going to, we're going to wait this out. We're going to find out what's going on. Something is going on. And it's not even a Friday. Let's see. Oh, that dollar store owner continues sitting on a bucket outside in the parking lot. This is the first time I ever see him do that. Same direction as homeowner Martinez van and the black car. And same time frame. When the bagman passes by and the mob comes out. And the mob is taking her sweet time coming out. But we're going to wait this out. She has to come out sooner or later. She knows I'm waiting for her. She knows. She's trying to avoid the camera. Identity theft Medicaid. Unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid. Murder plaque continues. Extreme high level frequencies. 
constantly shocking my brain as I speak to stop me from talking on the camera phone. Community gang stalking on command. This is how organized crime family is able to manipulate their victims to react. Again, organized crime family trying to get an order of protection against me to stop me from recording and uploading videos. This is the reason for the daily harassment. So, I don't know what's going on. Let's see if the dollar store owner is still sitting down. Yes, he's still sitting on a bucket, same time frame, pretending to me be making a business call. The mob still taking her sweet time coming out. She's very aware of my location. High tech surveillance monitor called Army Apparatus Tracking Signal Scanner Device. Very aware of my location. That's why she's not coming out. And I doubt she needs the money because identity theft Medicaid pays very good. And daily drug dealing transactions. And she got her job. She got three salaries. Oh, there's the bag man. There's the bag man. Got him. There he is right there. That's the money maker right there. Look how fast he's walking. That's the money maker right there. That was the reason for the dollar store owner to be sitting in the parking lot. To take me away from recording the bag man. And he's dressed different. He's not dressed in the orange uh, construction suit no more. Let's see if he says hi to the dollar store owner. See? See? That was the reason. And of course, the bagman is going to the same location. No need for me to be uh, following him. Why waste my energy? See? He's going the same direction. See? We all know the secret now the drop off location. And I don't know why he's running so fast. Oh, see? The dollar store owner closed the door. I told you that was the reason for him sitting on the bucket. And let's see if we see the mob. Nope, no mob yet. But yes, told you. That was the reason... For the dollar store owner to be sitting there. He wasn't waiting for nobody. He was waiting. Yes, he was waiting for the bag man. To pass by. To focus my attention on him. To avoid recording the bag man. That was the strategy. And of course, homeowner Martinez parked same direction. And the black car. To avoid recording the bag man. Town of Cicero Police Department. Protection cover up. Dirty little secret. White powder bags. And there goes another car. That's the same one that be. Picking up stuff. From the candy man. There's a lot of. Activity going on. And we got it. We got it. We all know the truth now. No need to be chasing after the bag man. 
We all know where his his drop off is. I'm still waiting for the mob to come out. She's still in hiding. But uh, you saw the Batman. He's dressed different. I guess he no longer works for that construction company that he's uh, supposed to be working for. It's a lie. Ah, community gang stalking. There you go, on command. On command. This is not by accident. That's not by accident. On command signal. And what a coincidence that he has to go to the store at this precise moment. That's the motorcycle that be harassing me every single day, day and night. And of course, they're in Cahoon with the dollar store owner. He probably dropped off a package. I got to make sure I don't focus all my attention on the motorcycle guy because it could be a distraction for the mob to make her way out. She's pretty slick. I'm using two cameras. Looks can be very deceiving. And he's taking his sweet time buying whatever he's going to buy in the dollar store. What a coincidence that he had to go there now. Same time frame that I am by the window. This is not a coincidence. Take a good look at him. That's organized crime right there. And the mob, I think I see her lights on, I'm not sure, let's see, let's see. Yeah, her lights are on. While I was recording the motorcycle guy, she ran inside her car, I told you, I told you, I told you. The motorcycle guy was a distraction, so I won't be recording her. Same time frame. Evidence. I told you she's slick. I told you. There she is. Same direction. Oh, see, again, he does not want me recording the mob. But I already know where she's going. She's going to go meet up with the Batman. So, there you have it, folks. This is how organized crime family uses distraction to avoid being on camera. You saw how quickly she got in her car while I was recording the motorcycle guy. Perfect distraction. Same time frame. Very slick. And. Well. There you have it folks. I don't know what else you want. But this is how organized crime. Works. Well. There's another one. Murder plot continues. Extreme high level frequencies as I speak. Constantly shocking my brain as I speak. Trying to stop me from talking. I'm already used to the pain.
I can take it. Constantly shocking my brain with a high-tech surveillance monitor called Army Apparatus Tracking Signal Scanner Device. Oh, there you go again. Shocking my brain as I speak. Constantly. Sooner or later, I'm going to have another brain emerism and there will be an open case. Organized Crime Family is attacking me right now as I speak. Constantly shocking my brain. Trying to stop me from exposing this criminal organization. Identity Theft Medicaid. Identity Theft Medicaid. Silent and coherent victims. Nursing Home Final Faith. Identity theft Medicaid takes place. Big money payday. The younger the victim, the bigger the payoff. Manipulate businesses. Remain in control. Silent victims. Unsolved murder cases of identity theft Medicaid. Victims are preconditioned at home to react. This is a public service. Public notification. Need assistance. 7083594551. Text me. Please get the news media involved. Please contact Department of Homeland Security. Yes, this is posted as a national security threat. They are attacking my phone. They continue attacking my brain. Sooner or later, I will become silent and coherent. I want to go on the record now that I can. Not when I'm silent and coherent in my deathbed, not able to defend myself. This is why I'm recording. And I'm recording this to help others that can no longer talk. This is a big business, folks. This organization needs to be exposed. I have a limited income. I need assistance. My family has no idea this is going on. And of course, the main purpose of the daily harassment is right here in front. 5132 West 24th Street in Laramie. Cicero, Illinois 60804. Double lot. Two fabric. Two flat brick, a lot of money has been invested on this property. Organized crime family, yes, the pressure's on. Ready to move back in. That's why they want to get an order of protection against me. And Town of Cicero Police Department is more than eager to enforce that. To stop me from recording and uploading videos. And right here next to it, of course, fire. Before and after evidence, we know who did that fire, and the poor owner cannot afford to fix it. It's still boarded up, and the candy man is doing business in the basement. That's where he lives at. And there's people living in the second floor. But uh, yeah, the candy man is hiding from the camera at night. He walks through the alley right here, all the way behind the do- a dollar store parking lot. By the dumpster. And that's where they do their business. This has been an update, folks. You saw the huge uh, uh, big deal that they made to stop me from recording the bag man. The motorcycle. The dollar store owner. And these two cars parked right here. The uh, homeowner Martinez's wife and the black car. Same time frame, same direction. Focus my attention and the motorcycle was parked right there. And as you can hear, the community gang stalking. All same direction, this side. And you saw where the um, bag man was walking on the opposite side. This was to protect their investment. That dollar store, um, the bag man is carrying a hefty amount of drugs. Special delivery white powder bags. 
And, uh, well, let's see. Today is May the 7th, 2024, Thursday afternoon, 4.28 p.m. Please note, public service, public notification. Murder plot continues. Extreme high-level frequencies. Coming from next door, 5135 West 24th Street, Laramie, Cicero, Illinois, 60804, Organized Crime Family, Second Floor, Hide Out. And, uh, well. That gate back there remains. They took that apart for some reason. I don't know why, but I think it's a plant picture shot. But it's been like that for two weeks. So, we'll see what happens.